Welcome back, motherfuckers, to more Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus. We got our Panzer Hund. Oh shit, baby. Let's see what this puppy can do. Hi. Fucking burning him! Jesus Christ. Burning. Need to burn a few more here. Ah, I got a feeling someone's up there. Fucking mouth. Commandant Adler Z post. Why are you not responding on the radio? The wall is breached, terrorist! With frequency, are you shit, I think, eh? Concept collectible. We got the uh, Concept 35 there. Not that we give a shit. We're here for weapon upgrades, bitch. Smart ass. It is darker than dick out of here.
what I was looking for. Diesel. Diesel infused grenades cause a wide radius of fire burning anyone. When thrown electromagnetic grenades, electromagnetic grenades emit electronic pulse, disabling all electronics. Three grenades in rapid se sequence. Let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, let's upgrade this little bad boy. Got us another star card in here. Commandant Spears note. I had some very interesting thoughts today during the security inspection round. It should probably be somewhere in Chapter 3, Human Psyche of the American People. The human psyche is astonishing in its adaptability. We have atom bombed these people, killed their sons and husbands and fathers on the battlefield, eliminated scores of undesirables and degenerates, dissolved the democracy institu inst instituents. Yet so many of them turned around soon after the Liberation War ended. It was almost too easy. The technology of the Osmerzer was, of course, an effective instrument in this hunting down terrorist, bombing cities that harbored them, and so on. The city, New Orleans, was probably one of the few places where the resistance was toughest. It was astonishing how they threw themselves at our guns for their foolish cause, but even before the Liberation War ended, we saw many Americans jumping over to our side, and then more followed. Many just learning to live with the situation. They became loyal to the rank. They started informing on their friends and families. At this point, they're no longer only submitting to the new order out of fear. They've actually accepted it as the new norm. And so I wonder how shallow are our deepest convictions. I'm taking my puppy dog with me. that fast asshole Definitely be able to set the pallets on fire. Come on! Same.
to the catacombs, all right. Pops me out there. That's no fun. God, look at all this sparkly. I don't think there's any more upgrades here. And we don't give a shit about star cards, baby! Come on, Pooch! Got screwed by the pooch, baby.
Oops. Oh, making me give up my puppy dog. It doesn't have a very hatchety sound. Star card JJ. That was a star card sixty fifty nine. Concept art, cool. Concept art's fun to look at. I'm more interested in the concept art than uh, star cards. Simple. Anya, come in, Anya. Do you read? William, I read you. What's happened? You okay there, darling? I'm doing <sighs> fine. <laughs> I'm trying to regroup with Fergus. I've contacted Grace. The U boat is on its way in, and we are on our way to Lakeview District. Listen, don't do anything reckless. You stay safe. I'll be fine. Anya out. Horton, what's your status? Rounding up the last of the people and fixing to leave. Well, make your way to the Lakeview District. Bring everyone. We're getting a ride out of here. Well, Billy, that might be a fine idea in theory, but I reckon all them Nazis between here and yonder might slow us down dearly. Wager I can get their attention. Kill them all. I like kill them all. Next stop, Lakeview District. Holy fucking shit. Dick! Eat a BJ size dick! Let's 
Cusco. Bogged down by Nazis here. Bosses top side of the... Get on ya! What's the name of this fucking place? We're on the roof of the Lakeview apartment building. Think we can hold out for a wee bit, but these Nazis keep coming like torrential diarrhea. Terror Billy, we met up with your people on the roof of the Lakeview apartment building. That ride of yours better get here soon, because we won't hold out much longer. Hey, Conrad, you up and went on a tropical cruise with our boat? The Nazis are fucking killing us here! Fergus, I read. Sorry for being held up. Working to resolve the problem. Charge up. Exactly, Billy's cup of tea. Time to swim through poop and pee pee. Oh man, no, I don't want to turn this shit on. Filter keys? Fuck off. I'm just swimming through waste. Can't a man swim through. Species without being interrupted by windows? Help everyone get on board the U-boat. The Nazis will regroup and attack. Hurry up! Blaskowitz, get your ass up on the Lakeview apartment building roof and climb on board the U-boat. We've spotted the outsmerzer on the radar. It'll be here any minute. Haul ass! Man, shit, might as well bust out this gun. <laughs> Got him right in the dick. There's a bunch of concept art and star cars in these buildings, obviously. But fuck it. We're here to lay waste.
get fucked. Dog bite me on my dick. Evacuees are on board, but we can't leave. Props are stuck in the mud. We're stranded. And the damn fucking dog. Fight. If it gets here before we bail, we are fucked. I say it's time to ready the nuclear cannon. What are you talking about, Fergus? I figure the shockwave from the atom bomb could push the boat out to sea. Now that's the stupidest fucking plan I have ever heard. Set. Well, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Blazkowicz, hop on the nuclear cannon and fire it to maximum distance. I just hope it's far enough away from us not to rupture the hull. Nuclear fucking cannon? That sounds right up my alley. Let's blow shit up! Like the Alice Mercer lost track of us. Clear skies on the scope. Friar Angle commands it now. Using the Tonk Terrace. But in the way back, the Alice Mercer would drone from city to city, crushing any resistance. Now, if we ignite a revolt, you can be sure the Alice Mercer swoop in, put an end to it, fight to say hell's bands. We gonna start this revolution. We need to put an end to the Alice Mercer firstly. So then we mount a surprise attack. Conquer the Ausmercer and use it against the Nazis. You know, the Ausmercer is protected by an automated security system called Odin. Seen it when I was up there. We'll hijack the system, find the Odin codes, and disable the fucking thing. Yeah, but that kind of information is a top military secret. Only the Oberkommando is privy to it. Sounds like your basic Nazi military facility infill. I'll break into the Oberkommando and steal the information off their uh, computing machines. Not a problem. Except for the fact that the Uber Commando is now on fucking planet Venus. Venus? Ever since you obliterated the Uber Commando at Roswell with that nuclear bloody warhead, the Nazis have been trying to shove the shite back into the horse. So, they moved the Uber Commando to another fucking planet to keep it away from us. All of their top brass, all their top military secrets have been moved to a fully secured base on Venus. Venus. There is no way you are making it to Venus, sunshine. I don't care how mighty your arsenal or how much fucking manpower. There is not a hope in hell you can bypass all that security. Yeah, not with that attitude. Except maybe there is. In two days, final auditions for the role of the infamous terrorist William Terribilly Glaskowitz take place on the enigmatic Aristat habitat on Venus. One of the hopeful actors is Jules Redfield, here getting a snack from his favorite milkshake bar in his hometown of Eagles, California. What you thinking, Anya? William and I are going for milkshakes. My milkshake brings all the Nazis to the yard! 
papers are all in his glove box. Yeah. What about him? Well, is he a Nazi? You a Nazi fella? Can't even tell no more. How I look? Like a walrus. Don't forget your luggage. Remember, you are Jules Redfield, professional actor, traveling to Venus to audition for the part of William Joseph Blaskovich. Now, you are summoned by personal invitation, so security should be minimal. Break a leg. Mr. Redfield? Mr. You, Sir Redfield? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that's me. I'm Helena, the director of this film. Apologies for the long journey, but my producer favors a safe location and has an affinity for dramatic settings. Uh, come. Oh, uh, my, my luggage. Someone will bring it for you. Come. to the audition, Mr. Redfield. Now that you're all here, I ask you to prepare yourselves. You must be off book for this audition, so be sure to memorize your lines before the producer gets here. He has a volatile disposition, so be careful what you say and do in his presence. Mr. Redfield, I can't stress enough how important it is you learn these lines by heart. Your script is on the chair. I will be with you shortly. Can't blow my cover. Better keep a low profile. Means the pretend acting for those so inclined. Your agent got you on the short list for this? Nah, man. Casting director saw me on a mystery show. And thought I had the right face. This is exciting, man. Venus and all? Yeah, I don't know. It's a little weird, though, no? Why Venus? What's wrong with L.A.? Producer gotta be a real big cheese. Muhammad must go to the mountaintide deal. 